Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Sandesh. That was an excellent oration. Uh, good afternoon and all. I am Dr. Avinash. I take from where Dr. Sandesh has left. I come from Ramaya Medical College, which is a teaching training center. So I come from medical scenario. So we heard two surgeons talk about bariatric and gynecology. So I'm a medical gastroenterologist. So we deal with endoscopy, colonoscopy, ERCP, and endoscopic ultrasound. Um, our slides, please. My time is on. So what am I going to do in last next four minutes? So basically like a few cases and what is the world of endoscopist? So the first case is basically a person who is a 19 year old male, underwent a road traffic accident, has got a neck injury. So surgeon operates and after that he develops a tracheoesophageal fistula. So that is, there is a communication between the windpipe and the food pipe. So whenever he swallows, he generally has got cough because this food enters or water enters into the windpipe. So the person has got coughing. So what does an endoscopist do? So he can close it from the endoscopy side by placing a clip. So this is called as a OVSCO clip, which is the latest, and very few case reports are there. There are a couple of things which our center has done it, like which are first in the world, got published in Journal of Digest Endoscopy as well as in Digest Endoscopy. This is endoscopic ultrasound, where an ultrasound probe is connected to the tip of the endoscope, and we can do therapeutic intent from the lumen. That is through endoscope, we can approach parathyroid gland or thyroid gland or the mediastinal node. So across the intestine, we can do therapeutic intent. So these are few case reports. I'm not going to those details, but what does an world of endoscopy does mean to a non-gastroenterology scenario? So ma majority of the time, these are done for screening or surveillance purpose to look at the cancer mor morbidity at a particular level. So endoscopy, colonoscopy, this is the bread and butter of any gastroenterologist. Then comes to the advanced endoscopy uh, modules where we do remove the stones from the bile duct or place a stent within a person who is jaundiced. So that is called as endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. Then I told a brief about endoscopic ultrasound. We can look at the motility of the foot pipe, like whenever the person has got difficulty in swallowing or difficulty in evacuation, because we are always bothered about what is going in, that is eating problems, or what is coming out, that is the toilet problems. So everyone is ginsed about that. So we look at what is called as a motility disorders, that is by manometry. Then we are always worried about what is coming out, what gas is coming out. So we look at a breath test to look for whether malabsorption is happening or not. Milk is getting digested or not. So lactose malabsorption or lactose intolerance can be diagnosed with breath test uh, analysis. Small intestine can also be looked at by looking at the, what is called as an enteroscopy. Liver transplantation, Dr. Basant has already touched upon. So I generally look at uh, India as a destination because we are uh, very well educated. You have seen a couple of doctors tell about their experience. And uh, we look at the research as a primary modality. We look at the training as because they are the future people whom we might undergo treatment. And we have definitely a lower com complication rate because of the numbers that we deal. And we always follow the guidelines that are basically based on the West because here the complex uh, healthcare system because one patient comes to one hospital, next time he will go to another hospital. So there is no standard uh, guideline. So we always extrapolate the American, so there, but we always maintain the standard and we have accreditation to the national board and we have state of art infrastructure in majority of the hospitals. There is no language barrier as far as we are considered because the mode of teaching is always English starting from basic training as well as we uh, like a lot of doctors are trained both nationally as well as internationally so as far as the patients are considered definitely there is no language barrier so we come at a cost which is like one tenth or one twentieth of the cost that economist has already mentioned so you can look at the cost comparison between the endoscopy in the west and india recovery time definitely like uh, uh, the quality of care post procedure you have seen a video where 4 hours after a bariatric surgery patient is absolutely fine travel log logistics basically i heard in the morning like visa problems and all but current modi government is very uh, uh, very much towards the medical tourism and patients are the priority for uh, uh, healthcare sector so i think there is a trend towards quicker visa process and we don't say more of a thank you, we call it as a namaskar.